at this point is we've been taking off the material we set and we don't want to process. So we're coming to the point where we're at the very top of the gravel. Uh, we've got the trench wall over there and we knew from that that we had to get that amount of overburden off. The top of the gravel just looks like this. And when it's being mined off, I put a bit of spray paint on here that just signifies to the operator that we don't go any deeper at that point. So essentially, this is the top of the gravel and this panel is now ready to be mined out. So uh, if we do this panel correctly, uh, this particular job, we keep the dilution down. If we're too rough with this phase, we can end up with lots of material going into the plant that we shouldn't have. So here we are, we're right to start mining. We're in um, pit one in the panel C. It's called panel C simply because it's a restricted corridor and we're mining it in strips to, to understand it in that way. So this has been mined down to bedrock and let me just show you the kind of things that you, you learn from this operation. For a start, the gravel is going through the plant and it does contain platinum and gold. We don't know the ultimate grades, but it's looking quite encouraging. The, the bedrock that you see in the floor that I'm standing on is the actual bottom of the river system that operated in, basically in the last ice age. So we're talking around 15,000 years ago. Now the, the interesting thing is that when you got to that point, all of a sudden you get a high runoff era in Australia and the first thing that happens is your rivers start to carve out new valleys and where I'm standing now is the first of the valleys that actually carved out and it's a very rough cast out so you can see we have to mine this with a large machine so it, it makes it even rougher but this is the bottom of the first creek that comes through now this was an interesting spot the creek is running this way, here's a hole in the bottom of the creek and then that is bedrock. Right across there there's nowhere for the creek to get out. It's purely a hole in the floor of that first creek. That shows you that the creek's running quite fast and it has lovely catchment points in the floor. Yeah. To an alluvial person that's pretty good news. So we've mined these out with care. Some of it's got piled there, some of it's already through the plant. So that's, that's the first creek. As the rainfall slows up a bit, the, the valley broadens and the drainages go backwards and forwards in a braided form. So we'll just go over here and we'll just show you the gravel cross section. Now we have had a bit of rain so that our walls look a bit grotty. I've just cleaned off a section here so that I'm hoping you'll be able to see it. Now this, this vertical section here shows that there's the bedrock contact. So let's say 15,000 years ago the drainage is running quite fast with a high runoff era. Uh, we're cut down into the bedrock to that level there. Below that is the old Silurian Devonian bedrock of about 400 million years old. So above this is about 15,000 years, big time gap on that line. Here's our gravel that's um, been deposited in this valley and this is the gravel that contains the platinum and gold. Now most of that gravel's got some degree of travel. Um, it's a big mix really, some of it would be quite local, some of it could have come from kilometres away. The bedrock is chemically altered in the original setting, that's why it has coloured zones, it has complete shear zones in here, all of which get tested for platinum and gold contents right there in the rock, um, and it's going through our plant. So it just shows you the gravel, it's fairly hard. Um, some patches of it have got nice ironstone in it, some of it like there. Um, it, it tests the machine out a bit. The gravel is fairly compact, but it processes well, and we, we've been quite happy with how that's run. 
So you can see the bedrock quite plain on that contact, a very sharp contact there, and you can see the gravel. That's a typical gravel bedrock cross section for which uh, the, the Grimfire area has a large amount of this material. Okay, just to show you that life's not all dead easy like that other thing, um, this is also still in the uh, panel C on pet 1, but you'll see that it's quite different. Here's our bedrock, here, and that is the gravel. Now, that gravel does not look very convincing at all. It looks, when you first cut it and you open it up, you think, well, has it been previously mined and just dumped back? You can't really tell. But in our sampling, we sampled a long channel that goes across in this zone here, incorporating some of the bedrock and some of the gravel. And the results came out extremely well. And we had high grain counts of platinum and gold in, in here, and that platinum and gold hadn't travelled very far at all. So it was a surprisingly good result given the poor quality of the gravel. And then you look at the actual bedrock and you find that you've got these little, for want of a better word, little channels or veins in the bedrock which are very reminiscent of why when we first found Trench 24A mineralisation and we got platinum, gold and chromite out of things that look identical to that. So when we sample across here, we honestly don't know whether the, the platinum is purely in there or in here or indeed in both. In other words, the source of the alluvial platinum can be straight out of the rock decomposing here and feed, feeding into the system. So we've got quite a wide zone here that gave a great result. I've uh, just plotted it on the wall. Now from there, 22 metres, right through to here at 15 metres. Uh, right across there is a chip channel incorporating both the bedrock and the gravel. It was a, a delight compared to what we thought would be a low result. So it just shows you that it's very hard to predict stuff. You do do the sampling for reasons. And it also shows a, the potential, not yet totally confirmed the potential of the bedrock source and the gravel to be intertwined um, and that's the reason why we're here we're taking the gravel off and then we're studying this bedrock and we already have platinum in the bedrock but we've got to get platinum commercial grades and so forth